the masked fighters in camouflage uniforms trudge across the dunes of Gaza, lugging two grey drones with wooden propellers and warheads. Loaded on metal launchers, the winged aircraft shoot into the sky, headed off to strike Israel. The propaganda video, made public this month by Hamas in the midst of the worst fighting with Israel in years, was meant to cast the militant group as a formidable fighting force, capable of overcoming its foe's advanced military with its own homemade technology. But the video also served to highlight the proliferation of military drones crisscrossing the region's skies in unprecedented numbers. They target oil facilities, militant hideouts, Israeli and Palestinian territory and even U.S. bases in the region. Some are shot down, but they are cheap to build and so many are in the air that some reach their targets, sometimes with devastating results. Many unmanned aircraft or their components can be linked back to Iran, U officials say, a worrying threat from Washington's longtime adversary that is forcing Pentagon planners to reconsider long-standing strategies for defending allies and its forces in the region. These small and medium-sized, drones, present a new and complex threat to our forces and those of our partners and allies, General Kenneth F. McKenzie Jr., the top U commander in the Middle East, told Congress last month. For the first time since the Korean War, we are operating without complete air superiority. The most sophisticated of these armed drones, known as unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs, belong to the United States and Israel, and both have used them frequently in the last two decades for targeted killings of militants, a practice condemned by human rights groups and others in part for civilian casualties. In recent weeks, Hamas tried to fire a handful of its armed drones at Israel, along with thousands of rockets and missiles as the Israeli military has bombarded Gaza with airstrikes. Most of the drones appear to have been shot down by Israeli fighter jets or destroyed on their launchers, in some cases by Israeli drones circling overhead. Israel made public footage showing an F-16 tracking a drone as a cockpit warning repeats, altitude, altitude, a warning that the jet is flying too low. A streaking missile suddenly appears on the infrared camera as a white streak, destroying the UAV. Another Israeli video showed what it said was an airstrike on a terrorist squad preparing to launch an explosive UAV from Gaza into Israel, and the bombing of a Gaza apartment building that the Israeli Defense Forces said was used by the head of Hamas UAV unit. Human rights groups have decried the high civilian death toll from the Gaza Strip bombings, which have destroyed entire residential complexes.